Roads on the way to Tahoe. This is from the Highway Patrol out of Truckee. At one point this afternoon, traffic was being stopped at Truckee. It is again moving, but with some chain restrictions. Max Darrell joins us now from the newsroom with more on what the storm means for the state snowpack. Max? The first snow survey of the year produced underwhelming results. Not a good sign, but experts say it is too early in the season to say it's going to be a dry winter. On Saturday, stormy, near whiteout conditions in parts of the Sierra. Andrew Schwartz took this video at the Central Sierra Snow Lab in Soda Springs on Saturday afternoon. It's very snowy right now, very heavy uh, snowfall rates coming down. And that, he says, is a welcome sight. This one's looking like it could be a dent. It's not going to be a huge dent in uh, the low snow conditions. Uh, but if we can have several other storms like it looks like we might, um, then it should end up helping uh, at least a little bit. There hasn't been a lot of snowfall so far in the Sierra this season. Earlier this week, the Department of Water Resources did their first snow survey of the year, and the results were pretty bleak. We recorded a snow depth of seven and a half inches and a snow water content of three inches. That results in 30% of average to date. For context, this time a year ago, the snowpack measured in at 185% of average. So it wasn't necessarily surprising, but it, it, it's still a little bit concerning. But we still have time to recover from that. This is almost par for the course for California, and it's becoming more so with climate change. Professor Jay Lund at UC Davis has taught water management for more than 30 years. Most of the climate change projections show California having more extreme events and fewer average years into the future. While it would be premature to say this will be a dry year. So what we can probably say at this point is that it's gonna be very difficult for this year to be very wet. Although the snowpack, which is California's largest natural reservoir, is well below average. According to the DWR, statewide reservoir storage is currently at 116% of average. If it's dry, for this whole year. We won't really know it until March, but if it is dry, we'll be very glad that we have started off with full reservoirs. Time will tell, but in the meantime, Schwartz hopes to see more days like this one in the Sierra. Over the next four to six weeks, I think that picture will kind of become more clear and hopefully it's for uh, the better and more wet than for dry. According to Schwartz, the snowiest months are usually December through February, the snowpack provides California with somewhere between 30 to 50 percent of its water.